Uh, one of those victories does go to Phazon, however. So very, very, very close between these two. The times that they have met in tournament, uh, you can see a little bit of a difference there. Uh, Phazon being ranked 14. Of course, Sandstorm, the big boy, number one. Um, eight top eights, five gold medals, one silver, one bronze. Uh, Phazon does have more top eights. Hmm. But I think that's probably, that's, that's winner champs. Yeah. Three, Last two, yeah, it has to be. One, when oh. Phazon got... Uh, second, yeah. and Sandstorm was thirteenth. So yeah, that's that's that uh, that's that tournament right there. Now they're having a chance to be able to fight against each other in bracket again. Best of fives have begun. Winners finals is underway, and Phazon on Val versus Sandstorms, Mordex, Gauntlets versus Gauntlets, Sword versus Scythe. Sandstorm trying to get that very early KO on the downsig. Very powerful signature. As as powerful as you'd say. Like, when we were talking about Diana Downsigs being able to KO very early at the mm -hmm. edge, more like Downsig with the active input where you're tossing people off the stage, spiking them down. Very strong, no matter what percent your opponent's at. Side light. Ooh. Oh my gosh. In the so Both players have vision of the ground oh, pounds. We chased them with it, too. Nice, refreshing beverage to celebrate that ground pound. You rarely see the... Because the Gauntlet ground pound, it doesn't just move in that direction. You definitely have to be holding yes. hard right yes. while activating the move the entire time, confident that you're going to be able to follow your opponent as they fade away. And that ground pound, as Phazon went further and further down to be able to avoid it, connects. And Sans from going for it again. Phazon Fantastic doesn't allow Phazon it. going under, sort of along that diagonal wall. He could recover and ride that wall up to get away from Sandstorm. But Phazon finding himself in orange at this point. He has Sandstorm almost to kill percent. There's the D light into the gravity cancel neutral heavy. Not quite enough. But very close. That'll Ooh. do it. Down sig, active input upwards. Toss him at the top of the stage. And what an intelligent decision to do so. I think if he went towards the stage, threw him down, would have bounced him off. Maybe would have lived. But Sandstorm now is solid. Stock ahead, even after Phazon's able to clean that up. Phazon bringing out the gauntlets. Sideline to neutral light. Sandstorm picking up the gauntlets himself. But Phazon opening up with a nice little nair. The nair for gauntlets working very similar to hammer recovery in the sense that... You know, Pulls them from above, brings them down. We're seeing Sandstorm going up with a nice little down air follow up. And Phazon is just struggling Ooh, no to wait. find the initiations that Weapon Sandstorm toss. is finding. Weapon toss into nothing, waiting for Phazon's dodge to completely finish before he found that neutral light. Put Phazon even deeper into red. Downlight doesn't catch Phazon on the way down from the ground pound. You have to be careful because you saw Sandstorm space far enough away from that ground pound, even though it wasn't going to hit him directly because. Oh, he just stared it in the face! Sandstorm! Completely unafraid. He had the spacing there and he knew it. Oh, Standing Sandstorm still. has Phazon's number. You're talking about mental games between Ethan and Remy. That was something else. Sandstorm multiple times yeah. when I know exactly yep. what you're going to do with your dodge. He doesn't even play that character. Do so it's not like he 100% knew it from experience. He just knew it because he knew it. What a wild man. Yeah. Um, what a wild car. And not to mention that like it wasn't like he dodged in place or dashed or jumped or anything. He stood still, he stood expected face of the dodge it. through him, and then turn around down sigged on sight. Yep. And there's the Jiro. Amazing. I, I I really wasn't expecting Phazon to pull this up, but I was talking the one time the, the 13th place finish for Sandstorm was when Phazon lost game one, switched to Jiro in game number two, and took it game number three to knock Sandstorm out of the Winter Championship. And we're seeing Phazon make the same decision again in Winner's Finals here at the Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel North American 1v1 Championship. Phazon opening oh, up strong. Sight doing work. Work that his gauntlets didn't necessarily do. He had moments of it, but Sandstorm was definitely doing way better with his gauntlets compared to Phazon's. Absolutely, but Phazon finds the nares and the downlights. Goes for the recovery. That d sig is actually going to be so he scary used the down over the edge. Active input to bring Sandstorm back in the stage instead of pulling him off. Oh, but Sandstorm with the weapon toss string. Side sig not really working out for Phazon. It's going to be a d sig. Ooh, it wasn't. It was a dash jump pivot ground pound. Spot dodge from Sandstorm. Side air to get back onto the stage from Phazon. Sending Sandstorm all the way to the left. Sandstorm is in KO percent right now. There's the weapon toss. Ooh. Turn around. Side light into the recovery. Full charge it side up. Sig and charge Easy punish back. for Phazon. And, and what's great about that is that you have, well, assuming that you're playing with sound, right? There's that charge up sound effect that Mordex has as well. As you know exactly what's going to happen. And, and, and you see that wind up and you know that he's charging. And you know you're not going to get hit by it. Recognize the spacing, able to go in unarmed or not. 
Simplifying that finisher, Faison takes the lead and still hasn't lost this stock. Picks up the sword, finds a nice little neutral light. Two neutral lights in a row! Sliding to the left and right as Shipwreck falls. The unarmed neutral light's not gonna be able enough. Or not gonna do enough. Faison dodging out of two down lights in a row! <laughs> and wow, the Nair forward active input still not KOing. Dash jump ground pound. Dash jump pivot ground pound. It's like one of the most popular things for both Gauntlet and Scythe players to do. Yep. One, because you can steal the Gauntlets in two, because Scythe. Canceling the Scythe ground pound is pretty safe off stage most of the time, and we see it work very well. Phazon, however, still in the lead and continuing to be in the lead. Is he keeping he's keeping Sandstorm off the right side of the stage? Trying to hit him with a lasso. The Scythe, the chains, Hero. For those side lights. Nope, can't find them. Sandstorm slowly finding his way back into this game. Neutral comes out. A little bit too high. Phase on with that side light. Oh, puts on another neutral. He's just Almost trying to get, he's trying to get the dad like the dodge left hard left read. Can't find it. What's nice is that it's not putting phase on in the air. He's staying on the stage. So if Sandstorm is in a position where he's not super close to punish, it's like phase on knows that as long as where he is is safe, he can go for it. Recovery connects. We go for the downstick again. Sandstorm can't even make it back. Phase on. He's got Sandstorm on his last stock in game number two. Now it's interesting that you mentioned he doesn't move with the signatures. Yes. Your signature hitboxes have movement, but it's because of that little shadow clone yeah. that comes out. So you get to stay where you are, and it puts your shadow clone that does not have a hurt box, mm -hmm. but a hitbox, it puts that 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 guy in danger. Right, and that's an excellent clarification, because when you see Mordux use a side signature, or a down signature, or a neutral signature, he rises with the attack, uh, like the, the part of him that you can hit. Uh, well, with Jiro, not necessarily the same. Oh no, this Ooh. could be bad positioning oh, no. for Faison. Does he touch? He does. Avoids that ground pound just barely. And he recovers high. Once he got that first touch that would give him enough movement options to get back Nair on the main Sarah. platform. Oh! Twice in a row! And, and then he the turned him around down and turned him around! Six speed string to neutralate. Weapon toss stops Faison from finding any more, but Sandstorm now having him off the side of the stage. Faison goes so high up because he knows the only thing he's really afraid of losing that stock to was a gauntlet ground pound. Going high for the recovery, now Scythe versus Scythe, the recovery hits in an arm, unarms Phazon. Does he have enough jumps to make it back? He does, but the down air into the stage, can he Phazon make it back? He does, he <gasps> finds the Nair, gets the chase touch back into the stage, and Sandstorm just guarding every weapon away from Phazon. He doesn't want Phazon to find anything, but Phazon avoiding the downstick, two oh, downstick no, 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 no. in a row with the side of the recovery. Does not connect, Sandstorm hesitated on the recovery coming up, but the down light kicks him off the stage. Doesn't find the KO, and the weapon toss comes out, and Sandstorm looking for that unarmed recovery. Phazon just barely managing to survive. Neutral light connects, Phazon runs for a weapon, picks up the sword, will he go for the neutral stick, he gets the recovery! Phazon, double oh, recovery! Oh, second one, he needs just one more! Will he go for any any signature here? It's so risky, I highly doubt it. So I you see him go for the stick. down air, trying to spike at the angle. Oh, you see him go for the neutral light, setting up into the... Another neutral light, he avoids, he dodges out of the way of that pick oh, he recovery. Goes for the recovery! The oh, stair hits Sandstorm, low on, low on jumps, can he, he make it back? Toss. He can weapon toss. Sandstorm manages to make He's it to the side of the stage. He's not going to weapon toss. And Phazon just waiting, and Sandstorm goes for the weapon toss himself. Another weapon toss. Oh, 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 the the down weapon toss. Into the weapon toss. Can he make it back? No, he, he cannot. Can't. And Phazon taking one for the road. That weapon toss. Dude, the down light Almost comboed into the weapon yeah. toss, though. And, and the jumps were already gone. So incredibly close. It, it, clearly the right decision when it came to the legend swap. But man. Sandstorm with the incredibly clutch ending. We see the weapon toss, and then that soft angle weapon toss, down light into weapon throw, sends him off, and Phazon, already so low on jumps, can't make it back, and Sandstorm celebrating, knowing, just by seeing, because the color palette of your character fades ever so slightly when your jumps are expanded. Aww, and when you do a, a gravity cancel signature, or sorry, not a signature, a taunt, you don't necessarily get the full taunt. Right. So he cracks it open, but he doesn't even get to drink it. Yeah, he doesn't. That's so sad. But he doesn't get to enjoy it. He's just you thirsty. Get, you do get to hear the ah. Uh. Oh, you do. You do hear yeah, the ah. Uh? Do. Oh, okay, he yeah. doesn't make the. Um, yeah. Well, he can't make it. Motion to drink. He it. He can't get there fast enough. He's falling to self destruction. I, I think. I think that that's not a uh, refreshing ah. Uh, that's a disappointment. Oh yeah. Uh. It's like oh. That's so sad. He's thirsty. He just wanted to take a sip. Oh no, and he's going to find himself off stage again. He doesn't have the scythe to be able to get those sick reversals. Ground pound connects. Face on tries to recover all the way to the other side. Oh, he doesn't, he have, doesn't have enough. Sandstorm. A whole stock ahead on Small Brawl Haven, and that it, it, this is a 2-0 lead for Sandstorm. Yeah. One more loss, and, and Faison goes to fight against Boomy and loses final. Sandstorm looking so strong on the Mordex. Sidelight after sidelight, down lane to sidelight into the Nair, puts him off the side of the stage. Ground pound on the stage, bounces him off. Sandstorm looking for even more. Faison. Nearly equal in damage. Oh, oh ground pound off the bottom. Amazing turn. He needed that. 
He absolutely needed that there. Sandstorm went for it all with that ground pound because he was able to connect it with that low on Small Brawl Haven. Definitely a KO. But because he went so far down, oh my gosh, that nearly took FaZe on second stock out. FaZe on barely managing to survive. Recovers low, Sandstorm not going for any dash jump ground pounds. Down light, but side light does not connect. And the dare just has the perfect angle to not bounce FaZe on off the stage so Sandstorm can go for an offstage edge guard. But FaZe on makes it back. T-Light recovery. KOing off the top, taking another. Ooh, he's glugging that one down. That's what you're talking about, right? When you do the gravity cancel taunt off the side of the stage, mm -hmm. you, don't, you just don't get the time. Sandstorm really enjoyed that last drink, and he's going to take it all the way to victory. 3-0 is in his grasp. Phase on looking for that down air. Sidelight comes out, and Sandstorm finds that nair. Recovery looks for a second nair. Dodges in place, but Phase on patiently waits it out. Finds the sair. Can't find the side signature. Down light into neutral air. Phase on has got some creative read. usages of scythe active input. We see oftentimes most players will opt to put their opponent off stage at whatever cost, but sometimes he brings them back into the center so they can get that mix up to find more follow ups like the Nair. That time we see him using that downer to send him off stage. Sandstorm looking for that cheeky gravity cancel, neutral stick unarmed. There's that neutral stick with the scythe, and once again, phase on with the active input. Now, unfortunately for Phazon, even when he gets options like that that send Sandstorm to the edge, because Phazon's so far behind right Sandstorm. now, he has to be so careful with everything he does. Like, any offstage interaction that even goes a little bit not his way will most likely lead to a death. And then Neutral Sig expended that dodge, so Sandstorm... Like, look how far that down air sent yep. him. Sandstorm could safely go out and, ooh, bounces him off the stage. But the dive kick comes in, because Sandstorm gets his jump spike. No! Kicked into the stage, didn't let him touch the stage. Phazon evens up the stocks one to one, but Phazon's very close to losing this last stock and dropping into loser's final. Sandstorm is ready for the grand finals. Phazon, starting the strings, uses the Nair to take him off stage. You gotta be so Goes careful the ground the Nair. Nair. The Even the K Nair, you didn't even need the ground pound follow up. All it took was that Nair to send him into the blast zone. And Sandstorm, three O's, Phazon, the Jira Switch was the right move. Absolutely. For sure.